Okay, yes, so my rabies is getting worse, but our next topic is going to be... Oh no, he's, he's not supposed to go there. Okay, so we have 2 to the power of a variable. Plus, we'll go 10, equals 3. Alright, so how are we going to solve for this? So, okay, we're going to have to subtract 10 from both sides. So, minus 10. And that gives us... It gives us 2 to the power of a variable equals negative 7. Okay, so now we have this. How are we going to solve? Let me just crop this right here. Wait, no, let me crop this. Um, Yeah, sure. Alright, let's move this over here, where we have room. Alright, so we have 2 to the power of a variable equals negative 7. How are we going to find what this variable is? We can make some estimates, like 2 squared is 4, 2 cubed is 8, but it's a negative. So, what we're actually going to have to do is we're going to have to do the log the logarithm the logarithmic to the base of two of negative seven. And you put that into like a calculator or some shit and it'll give you that. So that's gonna equal like eighty and that's how you do it right there. All right, next topic. So I get paid. All right, let's go over here. I need, sorry guys, I need, I need money for my rabies treatment. All right, let's go colors. We all like colors, okay? So next topic on algebra two, we're gonna talk about. Uh, actually, you know, I need a ruler for this. Let's. How how do I change the? You know what? Never mind. We're not gonna do ruler stuff. That's too neat, anyways. So we're gonna have this. That is a right triangle. This side is going to be 10. This side, I mean this angle, is congruent to this angle. So that means if three angles in a triangle, what, what, what do they... They add three triangles make 180, so D divided by 3 is equal to, no, no, it's 60. Wait, no, I did that wrong, because we have, we... Okay, let me... Let me do that again. Okay, so we have 180 degrees minus our 90 degree box. So that gives us 90 divided by 2. And that equals 45. So each angle is 45. So that means this is a special ed right triangle. So that means that, um, let me draw a little kind of formula here. So this could be equal to x, this could be equal to x. So these two are going to be the same. These two are also going to be the same. And this is going to be x times the square root of 2. Um, so, we have 10 as our side here, so, this side is going to be, like, 20 times the square root of 2, and this side is going to be 5, the square root of 5. Okay, now that we have that out of the way, what is, based off of, Next topic.
Okay. So we're gonna stay on the topic of some triangles. This is gonna be the right angle. This is gonna be your hypotenuse right here. We're gonna label it. Uh, that's 18. This is gonna be one. And this is 2. Okay, if you put this into a calculator, if you do the math, use Pythagorean Theorem, this is true. 2 squared plus 1 squared equals 18 squared. Okay, so this is going to be angle A, B, S, M. And this is angle S, M, D. So, angle... I'm sorry, this is angle Z. But anyways, angle A, B, A, B, S, M, we want to find the sine of it. So the sine of an angle is equal to the square root of 90 divided by 2 to the power of of the, of the, what is it, the, of the adjacent angle. Let me rewrite that, so, to the power Sine of an angle equal to the square root of 90 over 2 times, I mean, to the power of the square, no, no, what, what is it, what does that say? 90 times, no, 90 divided by 2 to, to, to the power of whatever, whatever this is. And in this case, it's 90, so it's to the, to the power of 90. So, we're going to solve for the sine of ABSM. Alright, so let's solve for it right here inside the little triangle here. We have a lot of space to work with. Alright, so sine, wait, let me just give you the numbers right here. This one is going to be 68. And this one is going to be 67. Okay, so ABSM is 68. Sine of 68 is equal to the square root of 90 over 2, and all that times, times itself, 90 times, because that's our adjacent angle right here, it's 90 degrees, so you can see that little box right there. Let me redraw the box. Okay, so let me do the math. This is, mm, that's 45. Mm, 45 times itself 90 times. I don't even know what that is. It worked. 45 to the power of 90 is, is equal to we're going to put a number greater than 2. Okay, so now we have that square root of a number greater than 2. Um, and then we have sine of 68 is equal to that. So the square root of a number greater than 2 is just that. We're going to leave it as that because we don't have any more information on that number. Because um, we don't have any more evidence to do this math right here. Um, so the sine of 68... Uh, Let me Google it real quick. What's the sine of 68? The answer is approximately minus 0.9. Okay. Minus 9 equals this. So, negative 9 equals a number greater than 2, the square root of number greater than 2, so, we want to solve for that number, 
But didn't we already get the sign? I think we just got the sign of 68. Just by... Just by googling it. I just googled what's the sign of 68 and it gave it to me. You know what? That... I think we're, we're done with that topic. Let's... You, you know what? That's it for the video. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Um... Yeah, if you want to see me do calculus, just give this video, like, maybe five likes, and then I'll consider it. But for now, this is... This is, um... We did a lot of math today, didn't we? Let's, let's review just one section. Alright, oh, this one. This, uh, 2 to the power of a number plus 10 equals 3. I don't even know what we did here. You know what? Screw that. Let's just move on. Um, let me draw this out for you. Please. Please. Like the video and subscribe. See you next time.